Hello everybody. In this lesson we're going to talk about limits of rational functions and once once a while, once in a while you can actually plug in uh, the approaching x value and it works out just fine but more often than not your rational functions um, if you try simple substitution to evaluate the limit it's going to come out undefined um, or some uncalculated value. So when you come across examples like that you need to ask yourself a few questions can you simplify can you reduce can you factor it out or as a last resort can you graph it and then look at the limit and evaluate it from the graph we'll do three examples here just showing um, how these rational functions work with them when evaluating them with limits and our first one limit as x approaches one uh, we see that if we plug in one for x we get zero in the denominator so we're going to try to simplify it first factor it out Look at our numerator, x squared minus 2x plus 1. That is going to factor into the two binomials, x minus 1 times x minus 1. And we're still all over x minus 1. And if you look at the terms here, x minus 1s will cancel from the top and the bottom, leaving us with just x minus 1. And if you look and see, we can now safely evaluate the limit by substitution plugging 1 in for x, 1 minus 1, this limit is 0. Okay, on our next one, we're doing the limit as theta approaches 0. We have 1 minus cosine theta over 2 sine squared of theta. In order to simplify this, because obviously plugging 0 for theta makes the denominator 0, we need to know um, the trig identity sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Um, we can actually uh, substitute sine squared with the quantity 1 minus cosine squared. Um, and that's what we'll do here. See my numerator is going to stay the same. But then my denominator is going to be 2 times the quantity 1 minus cosine squared theta. Now what I did there is I just solved this identity for sine squared and it's equal to 1 minus cosine squared. What we have is the difference of squares on the bottom. Let me write this numerator again. 2, 1 plus cosine theta, and 1 minus cosine theta. That is the difference of squares. Okay, and as we can see, one of these quantities cancels with the numerator, leaving us with 1 over 2 times 1 plus cosine theta. And again, the 1 minus cosine theta, uh, the quantities canceled out here from the top and bottom. I can uh, safely take the limit now as theta approaches 0. Cosine of theta is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 times the 2 gives us a limit value of 1 fourth.